Hi, this is Tyrone Austin and the world biggest atoms by Invention Designs and Concepts. I'm going to show you how to make a better device than what you're about to see. This is John Sia device. It's a free energy device supposed to defy the gravitational pull. This is my rendering of the same device, device in quicker form. The little pigs around you see around the rings are they rotate when you apply electric to it. This is a magnetic, a picture of the magnetic field that the device makes. In the center of the field, you will see this star. See that star design? And someone had did the same rendering like before I even looked at it. I mean, I basically looked at the blueprint and then got what he, this, this picture here. I drew it on a piece of paper before I even seen this on the internet. Um, basically, the reason why it does that because of the magnet on the right side and left side are rotating. And rather than the magnet having a normal feel, it's, it fluctuates. See all the little bitty circles and twirls around the outer and within the outer ring? That's because of these five star system here. I figure you can control that swirly swirl inside that system with my device. You could control the magnetic field a little better with a three star. All right, by invention design. This is how my field shape, my uh, the center of my field shape will look. This is. Like I say, the device rotates around, the field curates, and you get a, um, it collects the ambient energy around you. I think it connects the sun neutrinos, but this is the best shape that you should want to look for if you're trying to build a device that does this type of thing. Because what it does, it mimics the center of the earth uh, gravitational pull. Well, you know, the, center, the, gravi the gravity in the center of the earth, something like that. Alright, five star, not good. Too much energy fluctuate around. It comes in, you know, and then you know it. it, it you can't capture it because it it, fil it filtrates out too fast. But with my design, you only have five points and more control over it, right? Yeah, more control over the uh the magnetic field. Um, when the pot when the yeah, well, rather than this device right here, you see five stars. The little orange parts represent the magnetic field going around pieces in the middle the blue point is uh is the the device itself the magnetic ring and these triangles on the side are the collectors or the disbursement of energy or how it would come in and be dispersed this 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 beauty, this eh, this eh, I can't get the damn word in my mouth anyway um you see these renderings of my 3d rendering of the magnetic field around it when it's amped up this is not the center this is the whole device you see the peak tension what you see the center of the device which is what would collect all the sun neutrinos and smash atoms and neutrons together and everything to release the energies what I call quartz quarks all right quarks is like a whole bunch of free energy that's floating around and don't nobody know how to snatch it but this device here I guess it goes into what the second dimension since it got two magnetic fields and what it does it prevents the the um the field for being unionized you know how a normal field look it goes up around the positive side and down around to neutral with this device it keeps it it keeps changing the fields making the middle side top you know in order to have in, in order to invade a court energy you have to disrupt the top the bottom the up the down and the uh i got two other words i keep on forgetting um two other words yeah, I hate this. I'm about to do this whole thing though because I forgot those two words. Ah, the string and the charm. Sorry about that. It was the string and the charm. All right. Now with those two devices, uh, with the string and the charm and everything, well, these are your string and your charm. You can say that's one of the lines of string and one line is the charm. You violate the top, the bottom, up and down principle for a magnet to grab an object. And you get, so you see how my, my rendering perfectly fits the magnetic field that was made by uh, uh, whoever took it on the internet. You can see how the field breaks down from left to right. This is a 360 degree look of this field. Now it's breaking down just, this is how I've seen them look like this. But before that, that was my field. This is my field. You got an up, down, left, right. It's four sides to this. And you seem to look points and stars coming out the side of the... Um, of the device and everything, the points and everything with the magnetic field and stuff is uh, looped and created it, but 
this is my rendering of the world biggest atom with this device you can snatch you can snatch atoms the ambient atoms around uh, from around you and you can convert them to a uh, uh, free energy and you, you it's more efficient because you only need one electrical current going in to power the whole device because it's circumcised or circumseam circumteam you want to call it wired you know what I mean it goes it starting one point and then it wraps around the whole machine and then it comes back out the point that it went in you know that way we can, can have it in and out basically take two of the same devices uh, uh Mr. Cena devices and you join them together you have one real wheels rotating on the exterior and one rolling on the interior of my rendering you understand you have one wheel made like the way he got it but with my wheel you'll roll them on the inside alright you reverse the way you layer your material and everything and you uh yeah you reverse the way you layer your material and you put your uh, rollers on the inside I'm gonna go with um pill capsules because I think it might be the better uh, way of doing it um, if you look at my design, uh, I also would like to add a later on uh, shoot liquid H2O through the device to see if we can rip away the hydrogen atoms and the uh, oxygen atoms and get them to collide back together with some of these sun neutrinos and see if we can make a propulsion device. Yeah, uh, I mean, just uh, well, basically what you'll do is you take the little round uh, piece that moves on the device. And you will wrap them in plastic because you might have copper or something like that. But you'll wrap them in plastic, or you'll make it like a a giant peel. You know what I mean, like a um a um a gel capsule. And you'll have those rolling around since since if you want to have it solidified in water. Because what I want to do with the water is, I basically want to create the um uh, uh the hydrogen um uh you know how you make hydrogen you uh electrify the water. You uh, uh, charge the water particles and separate the hydrogen for the, from the oxygen. I want to do the same thing with this device. And we want to submerge it. That means that all your electrical pieces that actually touch you know, electrical can be non-submerged. And all your rolling pins and device can be uh, in a liquid. Keeping your wires separated from the uh, liquid. Why is it churning and, and rolling around? And at the same time, it should be making it should separate the hydrogen atoms and power them with the sun neutrinos and just make fire. That's what I'm thinking. You know what I mean? Because if I take hydrogen and had it in this device and I shot it out one end and I was snatching sun neutrinos and mixing it in with it, it's going to ignite the hydrogen and it's going to shoot it out the. Well, I think I, I, I got my own ship design. I can't wait to put it together. Um, like I say, uh, this is uh, basically a rendering of what we are trying to do with the hydrogen. If you could support my products, Fat Tricks 3-in-1 Unisex Handbags to help uh, me um, curate some of my free energy devices and stuff because I got a snowball somewhere and with your help, we can do just that. Thank you and uh, don't be uh, nervous to hit me back at uh, Tyrone at FatTricks.com That's T-Y-R-O-N-E at F-A-T-T-T-R-I-X-X.com Email me, Google me. Hey, uh, Google my name, it's going to pop up all over the place on the internet. Alright, thank you for your time and consideration. Clean energy is just a phone call away.